Hi there, uh, I'm Chrissy Hatfield. I am part of the senior leadership team at County Vineyard. Hello to everyone that I know and hello to those of you who I haven't had the privilege of meeting yet. Um, and there are two reasons why I feel like I can talk to you uh, about this, this subject this morning. Um, one is because my husband uh, Daniel and I run one of the inclusive communities here at Canterbury Vineyard which is just our name for the small groups. Um, but we use that word community really intentionally because these are not just places for Bible study but they are also um, places for us really trying to live out life together um, whether that be eating together regularly uh, and other practices of community and secondly we're also really blessed because we live on a street in Winchip there where there are like five to seven other families who live literally on the same street within we're all neighbours or next door neighbours and um, even though currently we're on lockdown community life so it looks um, a bit different to usual we still have the privilege of living in real close proximity and being able to share goods and other things like that and to do um, a type of community living and it's just an incredible privilege so this morning um, Jim has asked me to talk to you about why is community important and why should it be part of our vision conversations here at Canterbury Vineyard and part of our vi vision as a whole. So um, the first thing really is that simply I truly believe Jesus calls us to community um, so it's not optional in my opinion and I think we see that through firstly if we just look at the life of Jesus one Jesus lived in community uh, as um, uh, I was listening to a really fantastic sermon recently which I will um, give you information for at the end so you can listen to it because it unpacks this idea of community much more uh, but he said, you know, that Jesus is not some sage living on top of the hill on his own. He lived in community. He lived in um, a mobile co-housing community. And to me, that is just incredible. And this guy in this sermon goes on to say that essentially it turns out that we can't follow Jesus on our own. And when I use the word can't, I don't mean you're not allowed to, because of course people do. But I think when we choose to follow Jesus as part of a community of believers, then the whole the gospel comes alive in a new way. And and Jesus, you know, he knew what he was doing when he called the twelve and when he you know, they lived this, they were quite, you know, they were a small group, but they were doing life in, day in, day out. So firstly, I think that number one is Jesus, it's one of his primary callings. And I think that the more and more I read the Gospels, Jesus is speaking into a context, assuming we live in a communal context. And I don't mean monastic, but I mean... Um, living life side by side with one another not just seeing each other on a Sunday morning so yeah or whatever the equivalent uh, lockdown equivalent may be but I think really interestingly if we look at the life of Jesus as well and that calling that Jesus gave a lot of people turned Jesus' invitation down and I think that's that leads nicely to my second point, which would be that community is the real deal. You don't get to be um, your Sunday best when you live side by side, um, day in, day out with someone. It, you just can't keep it up. And I want to say or share from my experience, I don't have the time to go into individual stories, sadly, but the times where people who I live in you know close proximity to my neighbours if we've ever had a disagreement which does happen when you live so closely together um 
then when that's resolved, I feel like your relationship is just goes to another level because it's like, hey, you've seen me at my worst, so I can really be honest with you and I can share the real stuff of my life and the real difficulties of my life. And then from that place comes uh, incredible, incredible um, discipleship, essentially. And I know that we live in quite a unique situation and not all of us live on the same street as each other. Um, but if we are doing life together in our inclusive communities, this is the sort of thing we can start to see and really start to be real with each other. And I think that leads me on to um, this idea that community can be a really significant place for revelation of who God is, um, who I am to, in God's viewpoint, you know, just rev spiritual revelation on our walk with Jesus because if we ask ourselves this where do I most get to grow with God and um, in this sermon that I listened to in Bridgetown he makes this point and I it's just incredible and when I heard it I was like yes so true the place where we get to grow and he would whittle it down to two places in our Christian walk number one is silence and solitude and number two is community it's almost though those two things are the container for the rest containers for the rest of spiritual disciplines almost um, and sadly I don't get that much silence and solitude I do get some but not very much so for me community is actually a place where I really grow in my faith because it's often where I'm challenged and um you know that iron sharpens iron because i have given um i have committed to this group of people to my inclusive community and i've committed to them on my spiritual walk and they can you know we can challenge each other we can delve deep in the bible knowing that next week we will be coming back together and the week after that and the week after that and not just on a tuesday evening but throughout the week as well so they are my three reasons why is community important number one because Jesus calls us to community he lived in community himself and his expectation is that we live in commun communally with people number two because community is the real deal and it's where you can't hide behind your Sunday best um, but you show your real self and I think that's so important in the Christian walk and in life itself and number three, because community is the container for lots of all of our spiritual disciplines and it's a really incredible place of growth in our walk with Jesus. Thank you so much for um, being here this morning. It's been wonderful to talk to you and I can't wait to see you all again soon. Take care. Bye.